MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. I'm in the PDI area at 600 UK and with Trevor. These machine or this machine behind me is probably one of the most popular machines uh, around the world. Um, and there's been a few changes to it of late and Trevor's gonna tell us about those. So obviously the, the Colchester range, hugely popular. You've sold hundreds of thousands of these machines around the world. What's new on these, Trevor? The general basic design of the machine, Paul, hasn't changed in the slightest. And what we've done, we've just aesthetically redesigned the outside and made added some extra bits to make it a bit more safer. I noticed the colours, but it's not just about the yeah. colour, it goes beyond that. It does, yes. Um, the colours, obviously, um, we listen to people and uh, we've changed the colours slightly, but what we've done, we've added a fully movable DRO unit to it and a fully movable guard onto the back on the rear guard as well. Okay, so the fully movable, so the DRO, for, again, from, from my memory, it used, to be, uh, it used to be a static item, but now this can move along on a rail at the back, can it? It can, yes. The original DRO was fixed to the headstock, yeah, on, on, top, of, on top of the casting. Um, what we have here now, Paul, we have a um, fully movable DRO, which can move all the way along the bed, from one end to the other. And the guarding as well, fully movable guarding. Before we had a fixed guarding to the saddle, a perspex guard on the saddle. And it's definitely an improvement. I'm kind of amazed that this was you, you didn't think of this before because when you actually see that you think well that's a you know, fantastic idea it is yeah yeah obviously uh, we constantly looked and strive to improve all our machines um, so it was something we looked at this idea came along listened to other people and this is what we came up with and it's been well well received I, I can imagine and also then there's another improvement with uh, swarf extraction and things like that can you talk to us about that the swarf extraction obviously when you're trying to get the swarf out of the machine is a problem for many people they have to pull the bins out with I haven't changed it that much, but we've redesigned the front of the machine to make it easier for the swarf removal, etc., on that area. Okay, can we? Is there any way we can move this out now, just to, to, to demonstrate? So it's, it's it's as simple as that, it's really. It's as simple as that, yeah. So then the the chuck, there's been been some changes there too. Yeah, we've redesigned the chuck guard. The chuck guard was completely radius before, and what we've done, we've added uh, a different type of chuck guard to give it quick access, and more easier access to the cam locks on the machine. How does it make it quicker? What, because of the, the shape of it? Or? It's just the shape, Paul, that's all, yeah. It's easier to get to the, to the cam locks than the other one was. So with these improvements, obviously, if it's not broke, you don't fix it. They are just generally sort of aesthetic improvements and practical improvements. Do they apply to the Triumph range as well as the Master? They certainly do, Paul, yeah. The Triumph behind you has got exactly the same changes on as the Master has here. Uh, the movable DRO, the movable guarded, and the aesthetics on the outside. And I mean, with the, uh, the introduction or the advent of CNC many, many years ago, is there still a market for conventional machines? Huge market. The machines, what we sell here at 600 UK, are our bread and butter, the standards. Um, obviously, we do the Alphas and the Tornadoes as well. But the market for the conventional machines is huge. Brilliant. Thank you very much for your time, Trevor. Thank you very much, Paul. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.